the way for those that I didn't do like an introduction. So hi, <laughs> hi everybody. <laughs> Brass will be playing as Totek and I'll be playing as Lara. So easy peasy, girl, girl, boy, boy. All right. So <laughs> <laughs> three, anyway. three, two, one, go. All right. So we're going to uh, get started into this run right away. Um, by skipping uh, the first cutscene, which involves jumping over a gate. So we're going to bomb boost, which is when we detonate the bomb behind us while we're jumping to gain extra height or <laughs> distance. <laughs> so hopefully that goes well. And apparently laughter at the same time. Yes! Nice. All right, so now Brass is going to... Um, bomb himself to lower his health because later in the level uh, he's going to kill himself so I can get out of bounds and he's going to kill himself um, throughout the game and later in the level um, to do what we call death spawning which is when uh, he dies and I'm standing by like a door or a gate and he will spawn on the other side which triggers um, like uh, the next uh, level or loading scene or whatever whoa and then coming up here, we're going to do uh, like a spear warp through a door, which is basically Lara will auto jump to a spear so she'll clip through it. Yeah, like that. Okay. There we go. Good stuff. Aye! <laughs> My bad. Do we have enough? Nope. Oh, well, GG. Yeah, that was. Whoa, whoa! Don't you dare go to the left. Okay. All right. Yeah, so that I didn't was go not quite as landing bad. any of those bombs. That was really weird. No, it makes the run more interesting. What are you talking sure. about? Yeah, let's go with that. All right. So basically, uh, there is a tiny plot to the game. Uh, these bad guys resurrect Zola by accident because they go to steal a relic from Lara. They also um, resurrect Totec. Totec uh, eons ago stopped Zolot from taking over the world, and uh, that's kind of like his duty, so he enlists Lara to help him. We're in the Temple of Light. Totec is the guardian of it. Guardian of Light, get it? Okay, now we know the name of the game. We, we got the plot. Alright. Alright, we want to talk about abilities? Hmm? Want to talk about abilities? You can. All right, so each character's got their own own special abilities. So Totec's got the spears. Uh, I can place the spears, but I can't jump on them. Lara can. Jar Lara can jump on the spears. She also has a grapple, which Totec does not. But Totec has a shield, and we can kind of combine our uses of it together to get places, but some of that's too slow. So we're going to do some other more fun and entertaining ways. Yep, so like, while I don't have a spear to jump on, I have a spear of darkness, which uh, explodes after a few seconds, but a few seconds is all I need. Um, and the way we have these is, uh, this is a New Game Plus run, so all of these weapons were uh, obtained from doing like uh, challenges and stuff. Alright, Temple Grounds. Temple Grounds. So for... <laughs> what? Nothing. This is a pretty big, uh, huge level. We don't got time for that. Nope. You're supposed to grab uh, three sun disks that are scattered throughout the level. It takes about two to two and a half minutes to get, which takes way too long. But thankfully we have wonderful collision detection. Oh, oh, um... Hang on, wait for me, wait for yep. me. Yep. Okay, go. Alright. Ah, oh, look, I fell. So we're going to abuse uh, death spawning next to uh, doors. <clears throat> I don't know exactly how to explain it, it's just kind of weird. So when I spawn in midair, we can actually spawn me in motion, and I can clip through stuff. So there, done with that level. Uh, Spider Tomb is the first level that we're going to use grapple jumping in. Uh, basically, Lara can jump out and grapple Totec, and while she does fall, um, because of gravity, I presume. Uh, for a split second, the game does think that she's standing on uh, ground, so you're able to get another jump off of it. So you can jump out, grapple, and jump out again, grapple again, and you can basically go out really far to places where you're really not supposed to get to. Like here. Yep. Uh, 
So basically, that's the end of the level, and my body's flying there, and... Oh, awkward. Um, Brass is <laughs> supposed to spawn in the loading zone. <laughs> I spawned by her dead body, and it all depends on where the host is, so it looked fine on my screen, but yours might have showed something different, I don't know. Uh. Alright, maybe that time? There we go. Okay. Uh. <laughs> Ollie, please. Uh, so now we're going to uh. do the summoning. It's uh, the first of our two dino levels, and they're kind of like mini bosses, but you just poke it with a stick and it's fine. <laughs> oh, uh, no, no, okay. <laughs> okay, there we go. <laughs> okay. Guys, <Okay>. please. <laughs> All right, uh, Forgotten Gate is another uh, one of two levels. Um, the, these levels are split up into two parts, where the first part you run around and you do a bunch of puzzles to get balls, which in this case we're going to roll onto pressure plates to raise up a gate. Well, that's kind of slow, don't you think? Yeah, it's very I'll just, slow. I'll just hop through the gate. Yeah, why not? Laura's skinny enough. <laughs> So, these are uh, spiky Heads up, things. I'm in the teens. Alright, well, prepare to die. It's kind of a behind the scenes of what I'm talking about. It's, um, basically explains what's happening to me. These are all preset, so we know uh, when to stop and whatnot. What right, Brass? I guess not, the spikes uh, aren't full? Like, What are you talking about? They don't hurt. Uh, all of these jack. rocks falling are preset as well. Predetermined. Well, whatever. So we're just gonna roll through, and it will be fine. And big spiky ball, it's fine. Easy enough. Okay. <laughs> <coughs> I got a question to ask. When are Rise of the Tomb Raider runs? Those are soon. Like, I'll be streaming those in the coming months. Like, seriously, I'm working on that now. Oh, that was awkward. Alright, Toxic Swamp is a uh, really massive level. We just rolled to the side to skip a cutscene. We're about to skip another cutscene, too. Zolot talks a lot. We don't have time for this bullshit. No, ain't nobody got time for that. Alright, so... Sacrifice. We're going to the first gate, but we're not gonna do anything with it. Right? Don't shoot at it. Nope. Okay. We just jump straight back out. The reason we have to go in is it spawns the next area, otherwise the, uh, the level hasn't loaded yet, so we have to go inside first. So, we're gonna so instead of spawn? sitting through, yeah, instead of sitting through the cutscene uh, to lower the gate, we're just going to do this. It's a little bit faster. You know what? Please go away. Fine, I'm dead. And yes, I did, Ollie. I did see it. All right, so I'm going uh, sort of out of bounds. Technically, this right here is not out of bounds, but for all intents and purposes, it kind of is. What? Yeah. So we're did gonna you use see that? Okay, there we go. Spears in an unintended way to reach a later part of the level. Right. So this skips the second gate. But I'm rolling to the left and not to the right because we have to uh, load the rest of the game, otherwise it crashes. So. Now that it's loaded, we're gonna skip a giant bridge and just roll out of bounds again. Ever so briefly, right here. This is yep. out of bounds. Welcome. Um, looks like regular gameplay. And then we're back in. And this is um, the third gate. And we have to actually uh, do lower this one because uh, it loads the rest of the level. It's a little tricky to get that in one shot too. Usually it takes two. So I'm impressed with myself. So if anybody's curious, if you're having trouble with the speedrun challenges of this game, these strats are not usable. You cannot use these to get the speedrun challenges because while they might be the end of the level, uh, it's something triggered that we're not actually going to trigger. We're supposed so, to roll a ball in the fire here. Uh, we don't got time for that. <laughs> or we could just roll brass through it. I like that idea better. 
And another grapple jump to skip a cutscene. Good stuff. Go. Yep. Uh, look at Zolot being a statue there. And um, the Ooh, gate, awkward. while it isn't loaded, um, there's a wall here. So we're just... Can you? Okay. What? Go down this way. Wow. Where are you going? Just dying. Yeah. There, there we is. go. Wow. That's jumping issues. actually the first time that's ever Jump, happened. Jumping to... issues. It's fine. Don't worry Girl. about it. Yeah. <laughs> so Flooded Passage is the level that we uh, desync the camera for because I'm tired of looking at Totec. All he does is follow me around. <laughs> Your body just flew up. <laughs> yep. <laughs> that was so great. What? Here we go. And so I need to do that jump one more time. And now I, so, I get to stare at a wall. Yep, he's staring at a wall really up close. Here's to crossing my fingers. And so Bunny just does this whole next section. Oh, by I herself. died! <laughs> no! And so she either dies there or gets to the next loaded game. Who's jumping? No. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Mayday! <laughs> Mayday? Mayday? I don't know. Hang on. What's wrong? My game just like, um, game. <laughs> I had to close the game. Oh, wonderful. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> well, in that case. Um, excuse uh, me? There is no oh, speed run for all achievements, no. Um, there is all rewards that you can find on my YouTube channel and on my Twitch. What? That I've done in an hour and 17 okay. minutes. And that's getting every single challenge except for score challenges. Alright, let's get back into this. Maybe. Come on. Pick, pick Totec. Thanks. Oh! <laughs> Alright, split a passage all over again. <laughs> Alright. Blame Shad. Hashtag blame Shad. <laughs> oh, did Shaddix do something? Is that why? <laughs> It's fine. Don't worry about it. We're okay. Alright, let's try this again. <laughs> this game is a little buggy. Alright, so this oh, is Flooded Passage. This is the uh, one example of us desyncing the camera. <laughs> so, we're gonna do this jump to get Lara across, and then I'm gonna do it again. Which is going to desync the camera, and I get to stare at a wall now, while Bunny just gets to do uh, this, ne this next section of the level until the next loading zone. Also, sorry if you hear my dog. I didn't bark, make bark. that. Oh, I made that. I lied. Bark. I'm sorry. Lying to you is fun. Bark. Bark. Breast, please. You're not a dog. Confirmed. I'm Bunny's dog. Confirmed. Uh, I just wanted to do that again so I could show you how it really looks. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so, so brass. Should... Okay, you Go can ahead. explain it. Is that gonna work? What? Yeah, uh, I'm stuck. Anyways, brass stood in front of that guy to distract him for a second, so I had time to go pull it because he's very interested in me. And well, if he hits me, we can't pull the levers at the same time. Uh, so I guess I give him a kiss. I'm Cameron. getting stuck on stupid stuff. Uh, so this part, you're supposed to take turns running on either side, doing things. Uh, we're just going to make it a little faster, and that includes uh, death spawning on the other side of this gate. Oop, oop, uh oh. Sorry. Awkward. Mashing buttons, things happen. You can't blame me. Blame Shaddix. <laughs> <laughs> oh, poor Shaddix. Alright, so I'm going to kill myself to uh, make the cutscene go faster. And uh, so normally. Um, Normally you gotta go up the stairs to the left and you get a ball to chase you down and or he could go through there too, I suppose that's fine. Just go through the wall, you know. Hey Phantom. Simple start there. Alright, so Jaws of Death. This is <clears throat> um kinda like a scroller level, auto scroller. Uh Zola raises a fish to come eat us. And it chases us throughout the level.
there are these bridges that slow it down. We can destroy them fairly easily, but eh. It doesn't really do anything on co-op. It does on single player. Well, we don't understand how it works in co-op. <laughs> Oh boy. Oh, okay. So, I'm falling behind because um, of the me having to um, roll a little to the right to make way for the bomb boosting. I'm gonna kill myself here, though. Yep. There we go. That this way, because. continue up and not pull me back. As yeah. you notice with the desyncing of the camera, we're both kind of confined to one screen, so when Brass is really far ahead and I'm far behind, I'm really kind of just dragging him down, and that's not cool, especially in this level where you can uh, actually kill your partner by accident. But enough of that. Who wants sushi for dinner? Oh, Anyone? that was close. I'll make you sushi. Want... <laughs> Give me sushi. Sushi, sushi, sushi. <laughs> and this is an example of money clipping <gasps> ah! We got a glot. <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> Shit. Sorry. <laughs> that was a gold by 0.9 seconds on my end. Anyways, uh, so this is Twisting Bridge. It's a big long level where you take pieces of the bridge <laughs> and you you raise a part of them and it's very long and very big and we don't have time for it. <laughs> oh. it takes about two minutes or so. <laughs> Guest starring Walrus. <laughs> <clears throat> okay. So, this is just a cool part of the level. Uh, I don't know if you've been here often when you uh, play the game yourself. Yeah, you can come out here and just have some fun and... oh. Okay, I guess so we're actually at about... this isn't a part of the game. Apparently. I was lied to. <laughs> Alright, so... You want to explain the bridge? Sure. So right now she's doing a grapple jump in a really awkward way. She has to do this to get around uh, an invisible wall, which, boom, happened right there. Good stuff. Alright, please fall. And we skipped the cutscene doing that, too. So, sorry you didn't see the level, guys, but we got other things to do. Yeah, if you want to see the level, you can check out my All the Lords run, because that really goes to every corner of every single level in a very fast way. <laughs> that might be that a was a glod. <laughs> Nice. So uh, one and a, one and a half <laughs> seconds. Fiery Depths is another level where, as soon as we see the end, we're gonna go right for it. But before we do that, we have to hit oh, a trigger uh, to load uh, the rest of the area. Oh, uh, that's awkward. Sorry. So we're gonna do uh, something really cool here. Can you see that? Okay, so apparently if Lara stands on a spear and Totex spawns, he just teleports to her. <laughs> That's the only time you basically use that in the run, though. Okay. Alright, so now we can actually see the oh. end of the level. Oh god, I'm not good at this, yeah. am I? Bunny's gonna get burned to a crisp. Uh, world record for what, Ollie? All rewards? That's me, I'm the only one who runs it. Alright, uh, I'm gonna look at some lava first, though. You can die. You good? Yeah. I'm just looking at the lava, it's fine. And now you I'm gonna, gonna go fly. fly. Yeah. I'm at a bad angle though, so sorry. That's whatever. You're fine? Okay. Yep. I'm just I'm staring at a brown screen right now until Lara dies. Uh my whenever I get a glod, it's uh, a clip of Mr. Walrus three four five one screaming and I forgot to turn it off. So I apologize. Dang it. Alright, so uh, the right spot, though. that was fiery depths. Um so now we're gonna do Belly of the Beast. It's our second dino level, except this time the dino is made of lava. But we just found out that lava means absolutely nothing. What? Breaks my heart. <laughs> yeah, but you got it. Nice. I didn't <laughs> I'm good at this, I guess. That's a cut spear. Which is uh, quite challenging to get on Lara's position. Mine's a bit easier, but I missed mine. Because <laughs> I suck, guys. <laughs> no, it's actually kind of random. A little okay. bit for Totex to hit. What? 
All right, so Stronghold Passage is the second level where it's kind of in two parts. The first part, you got to run around, do puzzles, and get a bunch of balls, but this time you roll them into fire pits. Yeah, so Forgotten Gate, we could actually skip a couple of the balls. This time, we can't. We actually need six. We're going to actually do two uh, strats here, right? Um, there we go. So in case I don't clip through the gate, um, Brass can also uh, death spawn. Uh... Okay, yeah, you just kill yourself and oh my god, I'm gonna take my time because <laughs> Yeah, these flames are completely RNG. random so they can uh, completely screw you over or uh, Actually just let you go straight which would be nice uh, Normally both of us would be running here, but something's been up lately kind of long story to get into it So I cannot do anything right now This so is Bunny's solo, just kind of come on, on, let's be real Yeah, this is solo run. This is Lara's run Okay, there we go. GG. I played it a little safe on those tiles because I didn't have brass to back me up. But anyways, Mirror's Wake. There are there are a couple of ways to go about doing this level and There's Brass three, and actually. There yeah. Brass and I are gonna elect to take um like the out of bounds one, which is the riskiest one. It's the fun one too. Here we go. So give us just a second. Three Two, one, go. And rip. Damn. All right, let me. Oh, we're gonna try, try it okay. one more time, and if not, we're just gonna do different method. Yep, I made it up, um, but that really doesn't mean anything. If only Lara makes it up, we can continue on. Um, it would be a little bit slow. The goal is to get both of us up there, which okay. is why I have to count, because I'm timing a double bomb jump, kind Excuse of like me. uh, Metroid. Here we go, three. Two, one, go. Okay, we both made there it up. GG. All right. That's how go. you do it. Thanks. I need it. And all those I just spears. immediately kill myself, per usual. All right. So. So the when you lay a bomb, there's a three second cooldown before you can lay down another one. So that's why I count down, but also the countdown is to line us up so that we both climb on the ball at the same exact time. When we climb on the ball, we're invincible or invulnerable to knockback. We still take damage, but we don't take any knockback. So we can actually continue the climbing animation, climb on the ball as it's flying with two bombs boosting us forward. We get out of bounds. That's what happens there. Sorry, that was a very fast explanation, but now we're going to end the level. I'm going to spawn in. I'm going to roll off, and boom, we're done with the level, triggering the cutscene behind the gate so we don't have to go around collecting the three shield things to open up the gate. Wow, this game takes more commentary than it takes to run the game. Chops and I do a different route if any of you have seen my run with Chops or if you will see it at the Rookeries Marathon next weekend. Uh, Zola has three phases to his fight and uh, the first one has a lot of RNG spikes and we don't like that so we're gonna skip them and that means that I have to put brass in a pillar like and I'm gonna kill myself. Gel, so. Oh! Brass? Every once in a while that happens. You were actually fine on my screen, so... <laughs> I know, right? Brass is gonna lose it. Yep. And Ollie, yes I would. Alright. All right, so I killed okay. myself, and uh, and it didn't work out quite the best way, but whatever. The hope is that her body would be shoved towards me. It just goes flying. And I could pick screen. her up. Yep, yeah. I actually tried picking you up as you flew by me to see if anything would happen. Nah. Oh, you didn't. Oh come on! I hit him. I didn't hear you uh, shoot off your gun. Oh, that guy didn't die? What the hell? There we go. That's weird. Hello! You're dead. Okay. Okay, good. Alright, hit all of them. We're good. Yep. Oh, okay. So, that was the second phase. Uh, third phase, we're just gonna... Kind of do the same thing. We're just going to beat him up with yep. uh, sticks. Now, the one advantage, though, I won't be beating up with sticks. I actually have um, a rifle here, 
And if you notice, there's this glowing bar beneath my character. That is our relic meter. And using a late game uh, unlock, I can actually fire two shots at once. So that creates lots of damage. And I can actually one-shot Zola if I wanted to. But from some locations like right here, it's actually really tricky to get both shots to hit. Yep, only one hit. Alright, so now we have some uh, fire golems to deal with. Uh, uh oh. So we're just gonna beat up these guys for a while. And that was beautiful. Oh, whoops. Wow. And we're sharing a very passionate kiss right now. What? <laughs> so if your game is running at a milky smooth uh, 60 FPS, these don't do jack. They don't do anything to you. I totally forgot what I was supposed to do here, I'm sorry. What? I was supposed to make a nice fire show and run around in a circle. but If totally you forgot. wanted to, but it's fine. Just get it out of the way. Late. Get out of the way. I'm fine. Yes! Oh, he's dead. We one shot him. We somehow still got hit, but it's fine. <laughs> Alright, in time! Boom. Good stuff.